What's the value of a human life? The new Netflix drama Worth looks at that very question amidst the backdrop of the casualties from September 11th. It's a tough subject to tackle in a movie, but is it worth checking out? An attorney in Washington, D.C. battles against cynicism, bureaucracy, and politics to help the victims of 9-11. Worth stars Michael Keaton, Amy Ryan, and Stanley Tucci. Now, as you can imagine, this is a heavy movie. It's not a light or casual watch in the slightest. Michael Keaton stars as attorney Ken Feinberg, who became the special master in the settlement case to determine the amounts of compensation that would be paid out to the victims' families of the September 11th attacks. Amy Ryan is his partner at the law firm, and while she's good in this, I wanted to see more of her on screen. She gets to soften Keaton's character and bring some humanity to him, even though he's not some cold and detached monster. He's doing his best to keep emotion out of the equation so he can do the job, and I love that we definitely see it affect Ryan's character. She feels the burden of their undertaking, as well as the sorrow and grief that comes from listening to people's testimonies. The standout for me, though, was Stanley Tucci. He's a man who lost his wife in the attacks and is now fighting to make sure that everyone is treated fairly and with dignity in the compensation process. He finds massive problems with the original formula to determine a victim's worth, and his whole drive is to have Keaton correct it. I love that he understands that Keaton's character is not really the bad guy, but he's just doing a job. But I also love their conversations, as he's able to hold Keaton to a higher standard, making him question the job he's doing and if he's truly being impartial as he believes. And there are powerful interactions that take place through the two-hour movie. Sometimes portions do drag as we watch montages play out or our characters sit in contemplative moods, but it doesn't really take too much away from the weight of the story. The pace is slower than you might anticipate, even for a drama, and I did wish it moved a bit faster during some portions just to move the narrative along while not sacrificing the heart of the story. There are portions that could be cut or even shortened to get us back to the more pertinent elements faster. This has the potential to frustrate and anger you, and I think that's part of its goal. While I'm not sure how many liberties were taken with this story, the truth that it's based on is still present, and the story is crafted in a way to get under your skin. I found myself shaking my head and even talking at the TV a few times because what seemed so obvious to me as the right thing to do sometimes evaded what the characters were thinking. The formulas are appalling, but I also understand the flawed logic that was used to determine them. This really is a human story driven by character accounts. As Ryan and some of the other attorneys conduct family interviews, the content is heartbreaking. I wondered multiple times if I were actually watching some of the real families portray themselves because the emotion was so raw and powerful. It's hard not to tear up while hearing the stories. They are very impactful. While I was familiar with the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund, I was unaware of many details and also what all went into crafting it, and even the larger government motive behind it. So for me, this was eye-opening. As the story moves towards its climax, there is a large growing sense of urgency. There is a time limit the attorneys are up against, as well as an opt-in number. The film does a good job of building the tension and anxiety to make the outcome very dramatic. Because of the dour content, I can certainly understand why this won't be on most watch lists. The story is touching and handled in a way that brings light to the topic rather than overly congratulating or condemning the attorneys for what they did. The real reason, though, to watch this, if you do decide to check it out, is for the interactions between Stanley Tucci and Michael Keaton. There is a very powerful quietness that exists between them when they share the screen. The characters are at odds, and yet it's not personal, all the while being completely personal. Their conversations and the deliveries are spectacular to watch as two very accomplished actors use their restraint to craft dynamic and compelling exchanges. Overall, Worth is a touching, if not slightly depressing drama that is carried by amazing performances from Keaton, Ryan, and Tucci. The story content has the potential to put us in the bell jar and leave us very saddened, but the humanity that is discovered and expressed, especially in the final act, help to pull the narrative out of the mire and leave us in a slightly more positive positive and hopeful state than the trajectory led us to believe. While I really enjoyed the performances and the story is compelling, this isn't something I ever see myself revisiting. The content is just too heavy, even though it is interesting. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and descriptions of horrible violence. I give Worth three and a half out of five couches. Has this one been on your radar to check out? Do you gravitate towards the heavier dramas, or do you prefer to stay more in the lighthearted realm? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.